Hi right, people, what's going on folks? Captain Forest here. Today, I'm going to be scaling Esterosa from Seven Deadly Sins. He's part of the Ten Commandments. Now, before I start this video, huge shout out to Debater's Apprentice, my boy over here, for helping me with some of the calcs um, for like AP and speed and like going over certain scans just to make sure that they were correct and there were no problems with them. And of course, since it's October, Halloween is, Halloween is fast approaching. I figured I'd start posting a little bit more spooky videos, I guess, if you want to consider it spooky. Or more of the dark side. But anyway, I'm going to get right to meat and potatoes. I'm going to talk about Esther Rose's abilities first, then I'll get onto the AP and speed scaling afterwards. So, starting off, all the standard abilities, so like flight, all the Ten Commandments can fly. Um, Esterosa included. Um, Esterosa also, like the rest of the other Ten Commandments, they have the ability to consume souls and like force them out of someone's body uh, via touch or just being close enough to them. I'd say like at least a meter or so. Um, being able to like make a soul come out of its body and then just consume it, like what he did to this innocent like bystander when they went to check up on Deirgiri and uh, Deiriri and um, Monspeed. Um, just like um, Meliodas, he has the full counter, but his is a little different. Uh, Esther Rose's um, attack reflection, it works um, on physical attacks only instead of magical attacks, and it reflects back uh, more than um, double the damage. I don't have that scan on me, but like if you guys want that, just hit me up. I just couldn't post it here because for some odd reason, it's like when you edit, you can only edit like just the words. You can't like edit and add pictures or delete them, which kind of sucks. I wish Discord had that feature. But yeah, like he can only do it to physical attacks. He can't do it to like magical attacks like Meliodas. But it's still like an impressive attack reflection, very dangerous, especially for those who like to throw out attacks carelessly, like how he did it to a es um, Escanor's um, uh, attack. Uh, Esterosa also has transmutation. He was able to transmutate a bird that landed on its hand, or on its wrist, I should say. So it can definitely work through um, the. Um, he doesn't have to like physically touch you in terms of like skin contact. He just needed to look at the bird and then it transmutated um, and then blew up into like little chunks of pieces of meat. Um, now, for Esterosa's commandment, his commandment of uh, of love, it activates when you display hatred in your heart around Esterosa or hatred for him, which powernals you and your attacks, making you unable to muster any kind of energy to fight. So. For example, when Meliodas was about to perform revenge counter after taking lots of damage, uh, Esterosa just needed to like calmly plant his hand on um, Meliodas' sword and he completely power nulled it. And he also power nulled all like the holy knights. Um, they all bear hatred towards um, Esterosa and Esterosa just completely negged that and put them uh, completely out of action. So they couldn't fight. They literally couldn't muster any energy to fight. Now, onto his more like like demonic energy powers, like his magic attacks, for example, like his Hellblaze. Like other commandments, he can use uh, demonic magic like Purgatory Fire and Hellblaze, which is a giant like area of effect uh, of fire that sticks to your skin and continues to burn away um, until there's nothing left. Uh, it also like it negs like type 3 immortality also like uh, also that's like Esterosa using Howlblaze to like um, erupt the whole area because Monspeed was uh, grabbing him behind the neck um, hang on let me go I think is the scan here it's not but basically yeah you can't heal like if purgatory fire touches your skin and you have like regen you can't heal from it it continues to burn you down until there's nothing left of you. Works like the uh, Amaterasu from Naruto. Um, but yeah, there's like a scan of like Bon. Like his skin didn't heal properly. 
when Meliodas attacked his, attacked his skin with a purgatory fire through the sword. But anyway, just more showings of like Esterosa, for example, like the Black Hound. Like Esterosa just summons this like giant hound just made out of purgatory fire. And what the hound does, it just runs around in circles, spreading this giant uh, purgatory fire. And it just encloses you until you eventually get um, engulfed by the flame. And then you are basically turned to ash. You get burnt by it. And that's him. That's the hound prance, prancing around and burning all like the holy knights and the soldiers. He also has like a move called blackout. So he can like, in, like basically engulf targets uh, in darkness. So he can do this from a distance. Like he did it to um, Escanor's cruel son. Uh, he can do it to like body parts and anything of that nature. Uh, he can also uh, coat his hand in purgatory fire like the rest of the cast or he can like coat his hand in like black matter like the the demonic energy that they can all uh, generate and use it to like cut through uh, his opponents uh, he also like coated uh, tamriel's body in darkness preventing him from like uh, transmutating into water so it, it negs like like transmutation so those who like people who try to like transmutate their bodies or do any sort of transmutation they can't do it um his killing sources um have death hacks properties so if they if they cut you your body will completely engulf in darkness and it just uh, completely kills you so that's like a death saucer uh Sources like he can he can literally also spin himself and rotate his body around to cut you kind of like a blade and then that's like him like making fun of the uh, archangels whilst they get like covered in like um, the death hacks like the death uh, like the black matter so it kind of works like a uh, dark snow he also used this on um, like that innocent bystander I mentioned completely negged her death hacks um, and here's like him doing it in the anime too, just completely coated her body in darkness, and then she just just completely died, insta death. So the death, the death hacks um, is pretty consistent. Um, some impressive feats he has. So he survived his body from being destroyed on a molecular level after ingesting one of the commandments within him. Uh, he was also able to like um, escape the dimension that he was trapped in. So that's him like forcing the activation and this is when he was getting tagged by that lightning by the way um and like as serial Ser state states that literally it destroys you down to a uh, disintegrates you down to a molecular level to the point where not even like the demons of the round like i'm uh, sorry of the verse they can't even regen because they have like type 3 regen but like the uh molecular level pretty much bypasses and um completely just vaporizes you and even while he was getting tagged by that lightning he still was able to move and uh get the uh, commandment off to survive it and then here's just another scan of him like escaping dimensions so that's like another cool impressive feat he can break out of uh dimensions so if he gets bfr'd uh, he can like he can like uh neg uh, battlefield removal so if, if you try to like trap him into like into like a different dimension or something he can just leave just like he did there and he came back and he was just fine um so i'm going to talk about some of the out of character arguments so there are some like for some odd reason i don't know why they don't like give these like give showings to some of these characters but like there's other abilities like the ten commandments no but they don't display unfortunately so you'd have to like use out of character um for like most of them um, in terms of like certain abilities such as dark nebula which is like this giant uh, dark purple demonic like barrier that is used offensively and defensively um like even like the trash i'm talking like absolute fodder like gray demons they're like absolute nothing trash probably like city level i think arguably mountain uh even they can perform this move it's like this giant like purple barrier and then that's like Meliodas like getting hit by the barrier. He can't get through it. And that's like Hendrickson who's like in his demon state. Like in his father demon state could do this. 
So yeah, that's just um, like out of argument like abilities, and then of course like Dark Snow, um, easily argue you could argue like Esterosa could do this also because he's shown Death Hacks as I mentioned, but it's like Dark Snow is just like an area of effect of Death Hacks, so like this blob of snow, uh, there's like dark particles if it touches you, it literally just necks you just like that like. As this dude got just touched by it, his whole armor and he, he himself got completely negged. And then that's just a scan of like a, a garbage uh, grey demon doing it. So even they can do it. So can the uh, Ten Commandments. And then that's CDH of course posting the badass scan of um, the awesome scan of Esther Rosa just chilling. And then of course sensory. They all have sensory abilities. They can sense magic, sense people's beings. Um... And their energy and then of course uh like the rest of the other uh ten commandments they all have like type one type two type three mortality of course they've lived for thousands of years i think it's 300 no three thousand years i think they're three thousand years old i believe but they they you know they can't die by conventional like you know how like they can't die like of old age and stuff like that but like here's just some cool like um regen scans of like Esther Rosa being completely sliced in half by um, Sariel's like sicko wind, uh, cleaving sicko wind, and he was completely impaled by piercing water pillar and was chill. He didn't care. He actually was like laughing and he puts like a heart there. And then he, um, this is him like getting sliced in half and he just reforms. And then here's like a like another scan of him. He was like hugging. Um, Sariel's like tornado, and it was literally just like shredding him to pieces, like a grind, like how you put paper into like a shredder. And he was able to break through it and it just squish. Uh, Sariel should have put that scan there, it was pretty funny. But yeah, he's got like crazy, like regen, and of course, you know, resistance, like molecular destruction. But yeah, onto the AP. Um, so. Esterosa should be in the large island regions of attack potency. So Esterosa was able to like hurt and damage both Sariel and Tamriel. That trapped Esterosa inside this domain of gods, um, which is, that's the name of the realm. And was flooded and he was like ripped to shreds by, um, um, by like the tornado loop that Samriel and Tamriel were doing as a tag team. And then uh, he was also getting like, like vaporized by the divine lightning even though he was tanking it he, he was still living it um that all was calced around like large island plus uh i believe for uh yeah it was like large island plus it, uh, the calc is here if you guys want to check that out um and he also like survived it and he was able to like smack them around as i showed you through those scans for his abilities so yeah, large island to large island plus for um, Esther Rosa. And then for speed, unfortunately, me and Debater were like, bro, like the speed in Seven Deadly Sins gives me a bloody headache. We were going through all of the speed, the FTL stuff, um, it's like relative, relative, relativistic stuff. But like, unfortunately, like we just can't get enough like concrete stuff. It's annoying. So, the speed for Esther Rosa, he should easily be, like, insanely high into, like, massively hypersonic plus for speed. Um, if you want to, like, super high ball, you can argue, like, sub-relativistic. But, like, as as for the speed scaling, it's just it's just not there. It's lacking in the Seven Deadly, Seven Deadly Sins department, unfortunately. But, yeah, here's, like, a scan of, like, Meliodas being able to, like, deflect. Uh, Gil Thunder's Lightning, so he's like highly into um, Massively Hypersonic Plus But yes folks, that's pretty much it for the video If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, anything Leave it down in the comment section, subscribe if you're new to the channel Esther Rosa is amazing, if you guys want me to do any more 7 Deadly uh, Sin like scaling I've got like a bunch of threads I'm working on, just hit me up, comment section I'm also working on some other videos that some of my subscribers mentioned don't worry, they will be out, uh, I wouldn't say too soon, it's going to take a while for me to scale those series that people have requested, so it's going to take a while, but yeah, Captain Forest signing out.